question that we had this month was on MetaMask. Concerns were around some of their terms and conditions around taxes. So these have since been clarified as sales taxes, but the concern is still there. You know, Consensus, who is the main developing entity behind MetaMask, has proven that they're not exactly friendly towards the people. More so, they're pushing some of the government agendas. So Aurox is one that we have tested uh, significantly and for quite some time. Yeah, probably close to a year since I've yeah. been testing. And then maybe two months ago, I shifted from MetaMask to Aurox. Got a really good service. The wallet is much simplified. You don't have to add all these different networks and all this additional nonsense. So it's just one wallet addressed across many of the networks. You got to verify which ones, um, but that's where it just takes the, the takes the stress and the anxiety out of some of this, especially for newer users. So. Uh, Premier Web3 ecosystem backed by stable, scalable, and tested infrastructure that makes DeFi easy to understand and accessible for all. So redefining Web3 experience, then we've got a fairly big say on how this wallet continues moving forward. So uh, something that's super cool is the advanced security with smart contract profiling. So it's additional information in there, uh, the transaction simulation, so you're not paying way more than you think you're going to pay or you're not getting sandwich attacked, uh, as well as phishing provision. So that's the big, big thing that a lot of people are falling uh, susceptible for, some of these phishing attacks, and they keep getting their accounts drained. Anyone using Windows computers especially, please take a look at the recommended security stack, firewall, antivirus, and everything you need to make sure that your wallets are safe and secure. True multi-chain wallet, uh, you've got smart contract whitelisting, so it's it'll let you know if it's potentially dangerous, which is really nice. Uh, and then transact simulation, transaction simulation. So again, uh, sandwich attacks are becoming much more popular. Gas rebates, and they are introducing gasless transactions. It's not as cool as it sounds. It's not that you don't pay any gas whatsoever. It's rather than having to have Ethereum in your wallet just to send tokens, it's taken out the tokens. They do have their own token, which we were discussing in the last DeFi call. So it is tradable on KuCoin, a utility token. So you get additional rewards and additional access. I use the extension wallet. Uh, it's also Brave browser, same uh, Google Chrome extension. Uh, no app yet. For the first users, you do get an ENS name or Ethereum name service. So if someone wants, they can just send um, any cryptocurrency like the Matic EVM chains, Ethereum based ERC20 tokens uh, to cryptochronic.orx.eth and I'll receive it. So it's easier than trying to type out this address. This is a test wallet, just so everybody knows. You see the markets, sending, receiving, and swapping. Uh, super quick and super easy. Slippage tolerance, everything right in the wallet. Super quick, super easy, uh, nothing fancy to it. So um, really nice, and yeah, they gamify it. You get rewarded for using their wallet, unlike MetaMask. There is no reward for using MetaMask. The other thing that I really just want to look at is adding and removing the networks. So as it sits, this is what's available. So Ethereum, Binance, Polygon, Avalanche are the main. You know, you can just simply come in here and add more. Simply hit save and bam. Pretty cool stuff. We look at our wallets and we have one address across all those networks. It's a little bit off-putting at first, <laughs> but this is where it makes it much easier to send and receive your tokens. Your like it, it's beautiful. So um, really quick, really easy, and then just lock the wallet whenever you're said and done. This is just the beginning. There's going to be more fun things to navigate, but it's they fight us the hardest before they adopt us. And I think that's the stage we're in right now before we get into really mainstream adoption in this next bull cycle is really going to be based around privacy, security, and Web3, people taking back control of their identity, their futures, their finances, and uh, everything else that some stems from that. So.